Welcome to the next video of the series, and in this video we're going to be going over else statement, and it's pretty much a part two of our previous video. So, what are else statements? So, else statements basically are this pretty much the same thing as an if statement, and they control flow and logic. And if a certain condition is true, we're going to run this code else, which is our else statement. So, else if that condition is not true, we're going to run different code. And an if statement pretty much can run on its own, but an else statement can't. An else statement needs an if statement before it if it wants to run, while an if statement does not need the else statement. So let's go to the idle and see some examples. Okay, so here we are, and let's take a simple example. So let's have a variable named color and call it blue. So color equals blue. Now, if color equals blue, so this basically means if this variable color equals to the string blue we're gonna print um, the color is blue and now uh, and now else print the color is oops, the color is not blue so we're going to get the color is blue because the if statement saw that if color equals blue, which is true, so it's going to print this code, the color is blue. But now what if the color was not blue? So let's, let's do the same thing. Let's say color equals green this time. And let's copy the exact same code. Paste it. What, we're, what, what do you think we're going to get? We're going to get the color is not blue because the if statement checks if the color is blue, which it's not. So then it goes to the else statement else print this so since this condition is not true we're going to the else printing the color is not blue so basically in an if else statement the if condition checks for one certain condition while the else is pretty much everything that's not that condition so if this condition is not true then we're going to print else um so now let's look at uh a different example so let's have two numbers um, let's say num 1 equals 10 and num 2 equals 30 so let's have added numbers we're gonna add these numbers added numbers equals num underscore 1 plus num underscore 2 there we go so now our added numbers are basically the sum of these two numbers, num1 plus num2. And to make these, uh, to make an if else statement, we're going to be checking for if the added numbers is a certain value or if it's a different value. And if it's not those two values, then we're going to have an else statement. So if added numbers equals 35, print. The sum is is 35. Let's do that. Now there's something called elif, which is basically else and if at the same time. So if this condition is not true, we're going to check if this condition is true. So if added numbers equals 40, print the sum is 40. And now we're going to put our else statement. Else print the sum is not 35 or 40. So basically what this elif statement means is basically if this condition is not true, we're going to check if another condition is true. And if that condition is not true, then we're going to run the else statement. So it's kind of like an else statement, but for another single condition. And the cool thing about this is you can put elif as many times as you want. For example, I could put if it's 45, 50, 55, 60, as long as I want, as long as I have an if an elif and an else, I can have as many elifs as I want. So when we run this code, we're gonna get the sum is 40 because it checks if the added numbers is 35, if it's not, so else if the added numbers is 40, which it is, then it's gonna print this. And since it already checked here and printed this, it doesn't have to run the else statement. So even if this was, so, I mean, we could test that right now. So for example, we'll write that um, let's try another elif statement. So elif added numbers equals 40. And 
In this case, I'm going to change this so you can see kind of how the LFs work. Then print. The sum is 40. Oops. Sum is 40. And we can change this. This doesn't really matter though. And now we run this. We get the sum is 40 because if this is true, it's not elif. This is also not true. So it goes to the next elif, which is true. And then we'll print the sum is 40. So we don't have to run the else code because this elif thing is already true. So yeah, so if an else statement, if elif else statements would be really important in the future when you're actually building bigger projects and more code. And they come really in handy when you try to control the flow and logic of your project. So yeah, um, that pretty much wraps this video. Um, we went over if, elif, and else statements. And I hope you learned something from this video. If you didn't, check out the other videos. You might learn something from them. And yeah, thanks for watching.